extra, extra, read all about it. Cancer, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading. So this applies to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever Cancer energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian outside of yourself. You can apply these themes to those areas. Um, there's always an extended reading that articulates, expands upon, gives specific details and personalizes the energies that I pick up on in this Oracle card reading. And that link is below. It's a link to an extended video and I hope that you will join me. Um, I don't put dates on the videos anymore, Cancerians. Uh, and I think you know why, because it doesn't really matter to people, <laughs> but um, I do upload a new cancer video, cancer specific video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, please subscribe. You will help the channel grow and you'll be able to ring that bell and get notified when all of your favorite content goes live. So I hope that you'll join me in all capacities, Cancerians. Let's get into your reading. Now, I know that there's been some great, great details that have come through recently. So cancers, watch your words, crowning your energy. Hold on, take care of my puppy. So your crowning energy is watch your words, which is a very tricky card. And we'll ex I'll explain why, because there's so many applications for this energy. And then be at home. So this is wombat energy. The first initial, um, my, my, my gut reflex is um, having to hold your tongue because uh, to protect your heart space. Um, and, and that could very well be because you're living at home with your family, which is supposed to make you happier than ever, but not always, right? We all have different dynamics to ourselves. So it could very well be having to really clamp down on the things that you say uh, to keep the peace in your home. Um, but there could also be other implications as well. Um, be at home, wombat energy, six plus eight is 14, which adds up to five. And then four plus five adds up to nine. Change and something coming to a head. So it really does seem like there is something regarding your heart space or your heart chakra, messages or information that's coming out, Cancerians, that changes the dynamic of your home, of your heart space, maybe of the security of it or of your willingness to be there anymore, of how comfortable you feel at home or not being at home with information that has come to you or come at you or retaining information and holding on to that information so that you don't rock the boat and can maintain the status quo all the while sort of making yourself and your life experience now heavier because you're holding back or not saying those things that need to be said, knowing that if you say something or afraid that if you say something, and especially maybe if you share your truth or let out something that you know or understand that it will, it will like being more afraid of the change that will happen because of the truth than of, um, the truth itself, like, um, I, but not really that being your knee jerk reaction, right? To protect the home instead of thinking, well, isn't the truth what I should align myself with, you know, is me knowing the truth, like not realizing that holding back the truth, trying to contain it or trying to sort of, um, um, deny it in some way it could be denial or it just could be pretend like trying to pretend it away um, or not to discuss it only puts a bigger long-term burden on your heart on your head on yourself and it actually is chipping away at the foundations of your home itself whereas if you just let it out and discussed it and said what needed to be said yes it would feel like an earthquake it would shake but the integrity of the home itself would be maintained. So you might be under that sort of, um, you might be put in between that. I, I'm seeing the two of swords in my head, like rock in a hard place right now of not really knowing, do I let shit shake? Do I let it rumble? Do I let it quake by letting it all out? 
or do I defend and protect the status quo and hold it in knowing that eventually that will lead to um, um, cracks at the core of your heart space, of your home space. This could definitely have to do with hearing something that could affect personal, you personal, your family dynamic, or the house itself. There could be something with like the mortgage or the foundation or the structure, some sort of information coming down that makes you almost want to not deal with it immediately as if somehow that's gonna make it go away. But that is a Cancerian response is that's how we deal with shock. So that's how we deal with something that upsets us a great deal is going into sort of a state of shock and letting it come through very, very, trying to sort of push it away while we deal with the emotional str stress that it's put on us. And then after we've handled the stress, we can then handle the situation completely, but that can take a great deal of time. So this is the energy crowning your reading uh, this week. So big stuff. And you know, honestly, um, you know, shaken to your core. I think that there's a lot that is coming out now because there's a lot that's being exposed in terms of, you know, things that were easier for us to ignore, um, things that were easy for us to pretend weren't happening. Um, we now have to consult and confront uh, because we're stuck at home and other people are stuck at home with us and we can't deny those things anymore. Do I say something? Do I do something about it? Or do I, do I pretend... Uh, pretend like nothing's happening and hope that it will take care of itself and resolve itself when in fact cancerians from experience you know it never does um tend to the small things now this is the dead giveaway right here this tells me everything i need to know this means that something has been building little by little uh, for a while now and you know so little mouses have been sneaking out of the cracks in your walls and so you know for a fact that not only are there cracks in your walls but mice live in them and where you see one mouse there's like 500 in the walls so clearly this infestation has been building for a while something is worrying you cancerians you know that something is going on you know that something's happening Either you're bottling it yourself, this is happening inside of you, that you've been bottling it and something's been building for a long time. It's a very Cancerian thing to do. Bottle, 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 press down, press down, suppress, suppress until things explode and we don't even know what's happening because it's just, it's just out of our control. This is 10 to those things now. Look at those things and start to address them because you're looking at a full-blown infestation here that could be completely and totally out of your hands if you don't. It has to do with your heart space and maybe even your health. This is four plus two, six. So this could have to do with love and connection. So it's either got to do with one, your actual heart, like your physical organ, like your actual heart health. Or it has to do with your connection with somebody that's very close to you, somebody who is probably the most important person in your life, something that's been building and worrying you and upsetting you and frustrating you, and you may not know what to do about it. And the reason why you're not doing anything is because you feel hopeless or helpless in this situation. This would be that person that you, you they always win every time you talk to them because you love them so much, you always let them win. But this is about... I'm getting a feeling of a need for and a full blown, a full blown uh, intervention that you may not actually have the strength yourself to do. Um, but the first step is to um, admit that it's needed and then see who else can maybe intervene on your behalf. Um, take the lead. This is you becoming aware or spirit tapping you. In other words, you know uh, what, in other words, what you're suspecting is absolutely true. The fears are real um, and spirit has connected with you. You have this information. Think about the antenna, um, the messages coming down from the ether. This is you taking the lead. So this could be um, starting in your home, but have to do with a lot, something a lot bigger, something a lot more. You getting out a message, you taking the lead. Um, this card doesn't show up for in just any random situation. This card shows up when it says you have an obligation here. You have a responsibility to a higher purpose, to something bigger. What you are feeling is, is correct. So this actually is probably going to horrify most of you because I'm, I'm here confirming that what, what you have been feeling not only is correct, but it's not going to take care of itself. You are actually going to have to do something and intervene. Even if you feel lost and you don't know what the heck it, to do, you're actually, you're, you're actually, um, 
you're actually being held responsible for it because you're the one that was tapped. I know that sounds really, uh, really scary to me actually, because I'm a Cancerian too. Eight plus five is 13, one plus three is four. So that should give you some um, um, peace of mind because four is the energy of angels, uh, angels protecting you, uh, energetic, angelic defense. So you're being protected, you're being defended. Spirit has your back. Um, uh, so here we have your central energy coming out as sing your own song. Interesting energy. This is Gemini energy. This is being liberated and being freed. So um, one plus two equals three. This is Holy Trinity. So something divine coming over you. Are you basically becoming full and whole, realizing yourself? In other words, this is you finding the strength to be able to say what needs to be said. This central energy is you being able to be out loud what is now currently being pushed inside of you. So more and more this reading is becoming more intimate and more personal. Maybe not so much out. No, no, no. That's not true. It is happening inside of you. And it has to be that first step that you let it out. But in you letting it out, it's going to set a chain reaction so that you not only take on the role of, of being yourself out loud and being self-liberated, but now actually it having a domino effect and helping to affect and influence other changes. Damn. Um, now that could be that could be countrywide, right? Or it could be statewide. It could also be through your family helping to heal old family wounds or the relationship between you and your spouse because you're finally able to say out loud what you really need, what you really feel. Even if it is seedy or you feel like it's unfair. I know we have all these self, we, we, we're like, the, Cancerians are like the famous self prosecutors. We'll, we'll rationalize suppressing ourselves in a million different ways by saying, well, it's unfair. It's not justice. It's not right. It's not, we should be nicer. We should be kinder. No, no, no. Despite all of those self prosecutions, we're able to just let out exactly what we are inside, even if it's unfair and irrational, because as much as we can't accept that behavior from ourselves, we accept it from everybody else. So why don't we give ourselves the same liberty and support? And that's what this card is calling for. To give ourselves the same liberty and support we would give to others. And in doing so, empower ourselves, let out our own truth, and then start that chain reaction that needs to happen. Because what this card says is, you, little Cancerian, are a cog in a much bigger, intricate clockwork. But in order for the rest of the clockwork to move, you have to move. So I'm not giving you a choice. You have to speak your truth because your truth is part of, whether you realize it or not, a much better, a much bigger process that has to move from that. So you have to speak that truth. You're being tapped. And this is transformation is beautiful. Awakening to that truth, awakening to the reality, letting your wings expand and spreading out your wings and letting yourself become what, what is, like, think of yourself now contained in a cocoon. You're trapped. You're almost self-confined now. But it's, it's, it's going beyond, to, beyond healthy because, yes, as the caterpillar is transforming, it needs to stay in the cocoon. That's its protection, right? But you, it's long past due. You're ready to become a frickin' butterfly. This is expand, pop out, spread your wings and fly and be united with the people who really need you who really are you or, or are akin to you, which could go all the way to the fact that, and I'm going to say this out loud and I know you don't want me to say it, but even your family itself could be false, false friends. In other words, fr people that you've allowed in your life because you settled for them instead of people that you actually want to be around. And now you have to get honest with yourself and say, is this is my life really authentic or am I just justifying a series of choices uh, to justify inauthenticity? That's a really hard, that, that's, that's facing yourself in the most intimate and um, um, frightening way. But you're ready to, to, to change. You're ready to move on. You're ready to be, it's, it's almost like you can actually almost intuitively feel the call and the timing, the synchronicity, because butterflies become butterflies at a certain time and they migrate to a certain place 
I think it's in South America every year. It's all on synchronicities and cosmic timing. They're aligned with knowing when to do it. And guess what? Your clock is ticking and the synchronicity alarm has gone off, Cancerian. So this is about the time. Um, surrender now. This is diving in like a moth to a flame, having the courage to say, almost feeling like you're going to go down with the ship. Um, feeling the plane going down and about to crash and burn. Icarus flying too close to the sun. This is you like a moth to a flame, but you're surrendering to it. In other words, it's your mind that's decided this is your destruction. That's what you see now because of your fears of facing that truth. But what you're really doing is you're burning the old you and, and burning it, burning through it to the new you. It's almost like the flames are the portal. So it's like you have just got to dive in, surrender to the synchronicities and how you're being called. It is what it is, Cancerian. You have one choice and that is to speak your mind and, and confront what you need to confront and say what you need to say. You have that choice. That's it. Everything else, you just got to go with the flow and you have got to trust that ultimately things are going to be okay. And they are because the butterfly card is here. That's scorpionic energy and surrender now is Sagittarius energy. Oh, wow. And this comes out four, four. Protection, 4-4 four, four adds up to 8. So what did I talk about? 8 is destiny and divine timing. This is reclaiming your power just at the time when you're supposed to be reclaiming it. And I had spoken, I think, on a daily, um, or maybe it was last week, talking about how Cancerians, uh, I know it was it was uh, on Wednesday's daily tarot card reading where I was talking about how, um, you know, the North Node has been in Cancer for the past like two and a half years. And in so many ways, the, the fourth house gets crapped all over, just like you crap all over your home. Why? Because you take advantage of it. You know, you, you think it's always going to be there and you don't really treasure it for what it is. But this is the energy of... Um, um, Cancerian saying, listen, I was your North Node for two and a half years. You treated me like I was ridiculous. You treated me like you didn't pay attention to what I was saying. And now I am showing you my great wrath. Like I said to you, oh, I love you. My dog wants my attention. Um, like I was saying to you in the beginning of the reading of, um, you know, how Cancerians would be repressed, repressed, or suppressed, suppressed, suppressed be on everybody else's side but themselves. And then all of a sudden they explode. And all of a sudden it's like, we're in the middle of a pandemic that forces people to stay home now and to take their home life seriously and to address all those issues at home that they were so happy to ignore and escape into work, into their social life. And now you have to be home. And so cancers don't play. And that's the thing of, okay, listen, that 11th hour, because as the North Node's about to transfer into Gemini, that 11th hour Cancerian explosion of, you're going to listen to me now. And you have no idea how venomous and predatory and monstrous I can be when I've been ignored. But it's partially our fault because we aren't aggressive up front when we need to be. So that it, but it, we let it build, you know? Instead of dealing with things one by one, we let it add up till it's a million against one and then we explode. And that's exactly this energy. So I'm feeling like exactly what's happening with the North Node is happening to you personally. There's so much that you have let build up over time and now you're just you're just ripping at it. You're just ripping it away. And I have to say, there is a sense of divine timing in this. Like this was how you were set up to behave. It's how you were set up to behave. So you just have to go with it and know, you know what? Trust in spirit that you have, that, that, that you have a purpose that's bigger than um, even your, your day to day. And you just have to go with it. You're being asked to just go with the flow, even if it looks like you're going down with the ship. Um, overcome any obstacles. So this is Taurus energy change. Um, knowing that you have the strength to get through this, having the confidence to move forward, having the self-confidence to know that you are correct, like a Taurus, 
Um, but, but feeling really good about who you are because of course the moon is exalted when it's in Taurus. You can get through this and you can love yourself through this and you can love yourself enough to know that it's not all your fault that you're the one that's bringing everything down around you because you wouldn't be able to bring strong walls down. The only reason why you're able to bulldoze through them is because there were cracks that had nothing to do with you. This buildup is not all your fault, even if you're the one taking it down. So recognizing it, recognize, like wreck it, Ralph, wreck it, Ralph, it, wreck it, Ralph. That's what you're doing. You're wreck it, Ralph, and that's what you're doing. But you're understanding that, you know what? Well, that's my purpose. That's what I'm supposed to be doing here is wrecking things for the demolition, breaking them down so we can build up differently. Uh, magic works through you. This is your energy in perfect alignment. Five plus two is seven means you're creating something. So, you know, if magic is interesting, like you take, if you think of spells, you break down different elements and spells to ignite the power to be able to cast it into something else. And so this is what we're doing right now, Cancerian. That's exactly what happens to the caterpillar in the cocoon. It breaks, it literally like looks like, have you ever seen the movie The Fly? Like self-digested. And then it builds itself back up and using the elements and the molecules from the caterpillar to become the butterfly. But it's definitely different different. So this is you using your magic to wharf into something different, something new and something larger, something bigger. Um, believing in your own strength and believing in your own power and tapping into it um, and creating something new from it. If it's only, only if it's the new you, but the new you, I think that's what I want you to realize is the new you is actually the beginning to a new everything. So four plus one is five. And just like the fourth house and people don't realize that the fourth house is so important in that whatever your fourth house is ends up being what you start out as and what you become. So if you change Cancerians, so does everybody that lives in that house. And that's how powerful the Cancerian energy is, but people don't get it because so often it stays dormant, allowing them to be powerful while we stay docile. But watch out when we wake the fuck up. Um, this is four plus five, one. That is the energy of change. This is singing your own praises and being surrounded by love. And this is new love coming in. Gemini is now going to be taking over the North Node. So give us a little bit of relief after our purge. And this is who we are. And love yourself, whether you're beautiful or ugly. Love yourself regardless. Once you show your real self, something comes in, a connection, a personal connection, a one-on-one -on -one connection. Love is all around singing your own praises or getting opportunities. So this is about real, true connection of feeling. And how do you feel connected? Why do you feel connected like you never have before? Because you've actually been able to show your full self. Uh, open to infinite possibilities. This is a star card, but it's in reverse. Five plus nine is four. Another energy of five. Uh, more change. Uh, more change on what either what you see, what you want and what you feel is your goal or your destiny, maybe that is what is changing. Um, or basically closing yourself down, shutting yourself off, being tempted to shut yourself off to your possibilities of connection, not wanting to think about um, another partner or being with somebody else, being afraid to do it. That could be the, the whole thing is is being afraid to admit that you do want out of this relationship and want a new partner. Uh, being Being afraid to admit it. Because you will feel like a failure if you are. But guess what? Eventually, you're going to be claiming your independence. Too often, we just sit back and wait for them to leave us. And I think that this is the energy and strength to realize how important our independence is. And to be empowered to realize that we have a right to leave them. We have a right to leave situations that do not make us feel right. We have a right to leave behind behaviors that are not healthy for us. So this is the energy of four. Once again, claiming your independence. Four legs landing on your feet. Cancerians, you're going to be okay. Even if you decide to pretend like you're being led there by spirit and you didn't have a choice, you're actually the energy behind this and you're so agile and capable. You will land on your feet. Hi, honey. What's the matter? My little puppy is like just wanting my attention so bad. I know, Zizzies. Um, this is a really big reading. I know, Cancerians, this is taking a lot. 
Uh, nothing is wasted. Finding treasure in a trash heap. So even when ev the demolition occurs, there is beauty and abundance and a, and a blessing that's hidden. And honestly, I don't think that you'll be able to find the treasure until everything becomes the trash heap. I think that's part of the ingredients. It's part of the spell. Ooh. Oh, Cancerians. These readings don't usually go this long. I apologize. And then we have life is speeding up. Also Gemini energy rushing toward that Gemini energy. There's going to be a big release once Gemini energy comes around. A big release even for you, yourself, a freedom, a liberation. Finally being able to find a connectivity and life will be picking up those. It was waiting on you. It was waiting on you to burst forth and become the butterfly once that change happens and the reason why you're being put under this pressure now is to force the change to happen because the change has to happen you have to change you have to move your cog has to move for the rest of the cogs to move this once that happens it's going to be like foosh hussein bolt type of thing like you won't be able to like like it'll fly by like a flash life is going to pick up in other words, a major breakthrough is coming. A major breakthrough is coming. Despite the fact, open to infinite possibilities. This is still the star card. This is still the star energy. But what this tells me is this is one thing that you've been destined to do. And it's about to take off. And then we have your grounding energy. Lay a solid foundation so you're beginning something new. Also the energy of six, which implies a new romance or love. But this is also Virgo energy. So this talks about health. Like, um... Um, taking over like a, a, a new leaf in terms of your physical fitness and your health. I mean, while I just ate Wendy's today. Oh, I hear you. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy. Um, uh, you're squared to Aries energy, which means it's challenging for you to love yourself, put yourself first and accept your own strength. But this is the acceptance of your own strength and also walking into the room, knowing that you are a bitch ass diva and letting yourself shine. Um, and then this is know your worth. There you go. Whether you stink or whether you don't, you love yourself for exactly who you are. A little bit chubby, some rolls over your belly. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, a nose a little crooked. Doesn't matter. This is finding your self-worth and not having to cover up who you are to please others. So that's why all this is happening. Five plus four is nine. The energy of something coming out. And I think what's coming out is your True, your, your, your true self and your acceptance of your true self. And then finally, we have sweet results await. This is a big acceptance for you. This is a huge win for you. This is a you earned it. You got here the hard way. Finally being accepted for everything that you are because you allowed it to break down around you. You allowed the breakdown to happen and there's abundance that's coming here. So I know that it seems like you're backed up right now in terms of your energy, but there is a cast like there's a being cast forward there's a huge push forward and i think it's going to happen sometime in may i'm going to go into the extended if you'd like to join me please do that link is below let's see more when this is going to happen and what the breakthrough will bring you